And welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. And welcome to another episode of Fishing Southern Maryland. I'm okay, everyone. So I'm not officially declaring that COVID is over, but oh my goodness, it is so nice to be home. I'm in Salisbury, Maryland. I guess you might say I'm in Del Mar. I'm kind of between the two. Salisbury's about four miles that way, the town proper. Del Mar's about two miles that way. I'm at Leonard's Mill Pond here back home. I grew up in Salisbury. My family and I on the weekends, we didn't have public pools at the time. We didn't belong to the YMCA. So we would come up to Leonard's Mill Pond. There used to be a little beach area right here before they put the welcome center in. And we would actually go swimming right in this pond. And it extends under Route 13 out and probably goes for a good mile, if not further back. It actually joins up with Williams Mill on the other side. It's a great fishery. Years ago, when I started my idea of trying to fish across the state of Maryland, I actually came over to Salisbury to visit my parents, and I remembered being able to fish here in Leonard's Mill. So I got up this morning at 5 o'clock, got in my car at 5.30. It is now 8 o'clock. I'm getting ready to hit what I could consider my home waters or at least my growing up waters. Let's see if we can catch some fish. We're going to make sure all the rods survive. In fact, I don't even have my flag with me today because my flag is rigid and I think it would get knocked over. the first cast. Fish number one. Looks like a little large mouth. Oh, but he got off. I'm not going to count him. That stinks. That stinks. I hope that's not my only fish of the day. There's one. Stay down, stay down until you get here. We've got a large mouth. Little, small, oh, mar mercy. He has had some problems there. Somebody's really ripped at him when trying to get a hook out. But we're gonna let you go, bud. There you go. Thank you for playing. Okay. There's our bluegill. No, I'm sorry. That's a red, red ear. Yeah, that's a red ear sunfish right there. So, two species so far. Fish number three. Uh, I think now we've got our bluegill. Yeah, we got a bluegill. Okay. There's my trifecta. Fish number four coming up. Fish number four is a, another largemouth. Yes, it is. That's two of those. Bloop, right back down. Maybe something with a little more heft. Mm-hmm. Big bluegill, holy smokes, look at him. That's picture worthy, buddy. Yeah, that's picture worthy. Right 
there with the sun on it. That was perfect. That's a nice catch right there. He's a nice one. Yeah. Right back in the water. Breeze coming at us today. Temperatures in the lower 70s. Another one. Yep. Just a smaller bluegill. What's this? I think that might have been a crappie. I think that might have been a crappie. You know, this one was on there. Uh oh. Do I think it is? A little different markings there on him. I believe that's a pumpkin seed. We'll get a picture of it so we can get a better look at it in comparison. But those different markings, I'm not going to say definite, but it might be a pumpkin seed. Another bluegill? Oh, wait a minute, 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 yes! Okay, there's definite, definite species number four. A golden shiner. Definite species number four. Part of the minnow family. Once again, something with some heft. Oh my goodness, what was that? We're going to be using the net on this one. Yeah. A little nicer largemouth this time. Mm-hmm. A little nicer largemouth. There we go, buddy. And swims off. Gives us three of those guys. What we got here? Oh, we got another large mouth. Okay, bud, you're you're good. We'll, we'll knock on the head there. Sorry. Still looking for something else. Okay. Big bluegill. Big bluegill, I think. Holy smokes, a big bluegill. Yeah. Another nice one. The only reason I knew he was on there is because the float flipped upward. Oh, there's my pumpkin seed. Yes, sir. Gosh, they're a pretty fish. Gosh, they're a pretty fish. Yep. Man, it's pretty. So right here in this one area, I just caught a largemouth, a bluegill, and a pumpkin seed. All kind of hanging out together. Okay, so as I paddle a little further back, I'm gonna bring you up to speed. You've been counting with me? Largemouth, bluegill, red ear, golden shiner, pumpkin seed. Five species. I've caught pickerel here before. I've caught bullhead catfish. 
I've even caught crappie, of course. Today might be the day. Today might be the day that we get that sixth species. Let's keep it going. We gotta catch one of them. That's a bluegill. Yep, that's a bluegill. Oh, mercy. Another bluegill, another nice size bluegill. Not a crappie, not a pickerel, not a bullhead. Fish coming up. Another big bluegill. Let's get the net. Let's get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Because there it is. Get that out of your mouth. I don't care about that. The prettiest crappie I've ever seen. That's six. That's six species. Yes, sir. That is number six. That is the sixth species of the day. The quest, the search for six. The search for six. Yes, it is done. It is gone. It is happening. We're going to let you go, buddy. That's it. I did it. I finally got six species from the same body of water on the same day. You don't know how happy I am. I, I, I know that when I was reeling it in, I didn't sound terribly happy and everything. There's other anglers just, you know, about 100 yards in front of me. I don't want to disturb them. But, oh my gosh, I finally, finally did it. Six species, one body of water, pretty much caught on the same type of bait the entire time. All of the fish I've caught today so far have been on the panfish magnets. Largemouth red ear sunfish black crappie right there at the end yellow or golden shiners i've caught bluegill and number six i caught that pumpkin seed that's right i got six species all from the same body of water and i am very excited about it i've been fishing probably about well, just under two and a half hours this morning and i finally did it coming home Coming home to Leonard's Mill Pond, I got my quest for six. I finally got that six species. Yes. Yes. Here we got another largemouth. And a little one. But yeah, I'm excited. Yep, another large mouth. Okay, so the return home, very successful. Three hours of fishing. Uh, once I started getting four species and started thinking about six, I completely stopped counting the number of fish total. But I got my six species. Again, been trying to do that for a good couple months, if not more than that. And I finally got it here at home in Salisbury, Maryland on Leonard's Mill Pond. I'm hoping you've enjoyed my search for six so far. I guess I'm going to have to figure out a name for it. Again, three's a trifecta, four's a slam, five if your bowling is a five bagger. I don't know. The two trifecta? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to come up with a name for it. If you've got ideas, put it in the actual um, comments. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up. My goodness. Subscribe. You definitely want to be subscribed because the next time I'll be out fishing, probably going to be down in, visit, down in Florida visiting my son. 
maybe get a few new species on the list. And until next time, tight lines. Today's rod and reel combo, little Shakespeare four foot six ultra light or micro series with a Shimano series 500 FD on it, four pound test, a float, and then, like I said, those panfish magnets. They work, folks. I don't, and I don't get paid for them. I got to pay for them myself, but they work.